welcome to an Up for Anyone Can Curve video. As you may have known, my name is Yuma and I am 10 years old. I've published several apps on this app store and today I am right at the entrance of Stanford University. And I actually learned how to make apps here, but instead of like being at Stanford University, I learned from an iTunes University course. But anyways, WWDC has ended, so that's why I'm here. And I have an app planned for you. And so, let's get started. So, the app we're going to make today is very exciting because it is based on my very first JavaScript game I made, Rock, Paper, Scissors. But we are not going to make an online game. Instead, we are going to make an Apple Watch app. Also, I recently published my first Apple Watch app a few weeks ago, which was Weather Duck for Apple Watch. Anyways, here's the app we're going to make. So here it is. And, and you can choose from rock, paper, or scissors. And, and so I choose, if I choose rock, then the computer is also going to decide, you know, what it's going to do. And here we go, I just won. So, let's get started. So now we're in Xcode and let's create a new Xcode project. And so this is what you should be seeing um, when you when you create it. Or and you know we're not going to make an iOS app uh, today, but we're going to make a watchOS app. So let's click on watchOS and we're going to choose iOS app with WatchKit app. Let's click next, and I'm going to call this rock, paper, and scissors. Um, and I'm going to disable include notification scene. That's for notifications. And I'm just going to create it here. And so once, once it has been created, here it is. Uh, so this is a little bit different from normal iOS apps because here there are three folders and I'll explain what they are. And so the first one is is the main iOS app. The second one here is the WatchKit app, but that's just the layout. And this one is the App Watch app, but it's all, but it's, but it's where the code is, and you can see that there are two info p lists and two assets.exe assets, and therefore, and they're just there because uh, one of them are for uh, like like these. This is for if you're going to use the layout, and this is when it's involved in the code. So if you're using the code use the extension if you're using it if you're using it in the app then use the layout of the watch kit app so remember layout code and we're just going to start off by adding some images so i'm just going to go and find my images add and so here they are. I'm going to uh, upload this onto GitHub so I can give them to you. And I'm just going to select these. And actually, this is the background and I'm going to use this in the layout. And we're going to use this, the lose tie and win in our code. So I'm going to move it here. Now, when implementing Images. You have to remember here in the inspect the inspector. You have to select Apple Watch and uh, get rid of Universal because this is an Apple Watch app and this is for Apple Watch. So, so we're going to go here. I'm going to select these three Apple Watch and turn off devices. 
I'm just going to drag these into the Apple Watch slot. And most of the images. So, now we're going to do the layout now. And, and I'm just going to close this. And, and right now it's empty. So, if you want, you can run it. Uh, but it's just going to, it's going to be empty. So, so, let's just add some stuff first. And the first thing we're going to add is a, is a group. And I'm just going to drag it straight in here. And the first thing that you realize is that you can't actually drag, well, you can drag it, but it's going to snap. It's going to snap somewhere. And that's because, well, in, when making watchOS apps, you're quite limited to moving things around and adjusting the height. So you can see here that I can actually center this in the alignment. So horizontal and vertical, and I just set these to center, so it's in the center. And this is a size, and when doing a size, there's always width and height, but if you click on width, and you can actually just see relative to container, size to fit content, and fixed. Now, size to fit content actually uh, fits all the content inside it, and because you know, group is the a group is actually a container. Then you know you can actually put stuff in there, and and just size to fit content is the, it just automatically sizes it to to tightly fit all the uh, all of its stuff inside of its contents. And relative container is, well, relative to its parent. So here, the group's parent is the interface controller, which is like a view controller in iOS. And relative to container uh, has this here. And this is, and we're going to use this. And this is, um, this is the factor. So if I choose 0 0.5, then it's going to shrink by half. I'm going to set this to be, to be full. And I'm going to also set a height to relative to container so it fills the whole screen. This is going to be the background, by the way. And here I'm going to set the background um, to the background here. And I'm just going to rename this from Apple Watch 38mm to BG. Okay. So now we can just set the image here, BG, add. I'm gonna set this to aspect fill, so so um so it doesn't look squashed. Now let's put some let's actually put some stuff inside it. So I'm gonna put another group inside this group, and this is going to be a container for where where the text and some buttons are going to be. So so this is actually the main screen where you can choose rock paper scissors. And this is just going to be a group to uh, to contain it. Okay, so it is. I just said I just said its alignment to be completely in the center. Um, and I guess there's nothing else uh, to it. So I'm just gonna go create a label. Now here's a label, and it's in well, and automatically will be in size to fit content. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to set this vertical to be top, and I'm going to set this to be center. Um, and also, yeah, actually, no. Uh, we're going to set this to choose one. And, and so, I'm going to go over to a font, and I'm just going to change this to system and bump the size up to 20 and well uh that's that's the label and i'm going to add uh, a third group it is going to be inside the, the container for the for the text and the buttons so actually i'm gonna go to this group here hide size to fit content and oh by the way if you scroll up and you can see on the top, there's this layout, and there's horizontal, vertical, and overlap. And that's how. You, and this is how you want to uh, uh, put your uh, 
your content. So horizontal puts puts them side by side, so next to each other. Vertical will put them on top of each other and overlap will overlap them. So in this group, I'm going to add three buttons. Uh, button and these are just like UI buttons in 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 iOS, but you know they're Apple Watch buttons, and and each of these buttons are um, overlapping each other. So I'm just going to set this width to be 0.3, this one to be 0.3, and this one to be 0.3. And this time we're going to put emojis. So I'm just going to set all three buttons to be aligned in the center. This is uh, going to be in the center too. Actually, yeah. And this group is also in the center. There we go. And these three buttons are going to be aligned to the center. And and so uh, you can actually change the view as 38 millimeter or 42. I'm just going to stick with 38 millimeter. Uh, and so, well, these are buttons, of course, but we're not going to have them say button uh, because I'm going to actually have, well, what do you, these are emojis. So I'm going to do hand symbols. So the first one is going to be rock. So I'm going to have a rock here, a rock hand. And this is going to be paper. So let me find a hand symbol. Um, where is it? A raised hand. There we go. And and that's paper. And scissors is going to be like this. Because oh, not those scissors. Here it is. Ah, here we go. Where's the, where's the scissors? And I'm just gonna click hit enter. So, so now you should be seeing this. And that's where they are all done. Now I'm going to hook these up one by one. And and so we're going to do split screen. I'm gonna just collapse this so so you can see the code. And here's a template for our interface controller. Interface controller is like a view controller. So uh, when I say interface interface controller, it's just like a view controller in iOS. And if you don't really know about much about iOS, you can view my other tutorials uh, on my YouTube channel. And and so now here you can see these free and awake. Uh, the first function is just when, uh, when it's you know when the view controller has, uh, has like loaded and stuff and it's awake, just like just like view did load in iOS, and will activate is like will appear did deactivate is did disappear, so it's when you so did deactivate you can't see the view con the interface controller. Will activate means that you will be about to see the the, the interface controller too, uh, but I'm just going to delete these three because we we're not going to use them for now, and I'm just going to hook up a button. So pressing Control and dragging will give you a blue line, and we're going to create an action. So we're going to do something when when our when our uh, buttons have been clicked, so I'm going to hook the this fist uh, or this rock to the uh, chose rock. So here's here's our first RB action, and I'm gonna do scissors. There we go. Here's our action, and I'm going to do this chose paper. The third one here is going to be uh, the, when if I can do this. Yep, uh, chose scissors. Oops. Uh, 
I was meant to do an action. I was meant to do an IB outlet, so so I'm just going to hook this up again. Action and chose scissors. There we go. Um, those are our free actions. That's it for part one of the Rock Paper Scissors app. And in part two, we're going to have the computer decide what it's going to choose and start with a results screen. For more, visit my website at www.madebyyuma.com and my Twitter is at Yuma Sorianto. Also, please hit the subscribe and like button and goodbye!